All right, it's time to discuss about Cubable Apex. So, what is Cubable Apex? Cubable Apex is essentially a superset of future methods with some extra awesome sauce. We took the simplicity of future methods and the power of batch Apex and mix them together to form Cubable Apex. Apex. So, it gives you a class structure that the platform serialize for you. A simplified interface without start and finish methods. So, you can just use the execute and you're good to go. It is called by a simple system dot in queue job method. And then it will return you the ID and you can monitor that. Awesome, right? So what's the benefits? The benefits of Cuba Apex first you can pass on non primitive types You can't do that with future methods. So now you can pass on records Right accounts contacts leads you can't do that with future methods You can only pass IDs remember so also you can monitor it and then you can chain jobs together so for example you have three phase of a process so first to initiate the job you do in queue job phase one and then at the end of phase one you call another in queue job and it's calling phase two and then you go from phase two you also another in queue job phase three so you can chain job like that, which is pretty cool. So queuable versus future. Because queuable methods are functionally equivalent to the future methods, most of the time you'll probably want to use queuable instead of future methods. So it's best to use queuable instead of future methods. However, if you already have a bunch of codes that already use future methods, you can just keep them. Otherwise, you will have too much um, code changes. So, but there is another reason to use future methods instead of Cubal is when your functionality sometimes execute synchronously and sometimes asynchronously. So if that happens and you need that, so you can stick with future methods instead of Cubal, right? So let's talk about the syntax of the Cubal syntax here. So the syntax is like this, public class, name your class, implements Cubal, and then you just basically do your execute uh, method and then put your code there. So let's dissect this sample code. So this sample code is updating um, the parent of the account, the parent record. So the class name is update parent account implements queueable. And then here you define the variables, private, a list of accounts, and then the ID, which is the parent ID that you want to parent these accounts to. Right, and then you de uh, you define this uh, constructor here, and then it's 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 accepting a list of accounts, which you cannot do with future methods. Now with Cubal, you can accept a list of accounts, which is the records, and then the ID of the parent that you want to parent the account to, and you define that, and then this is the execute method for account account of from accounts here, all the list there, you just parent everybody to the parent ID and you're done, update the accounts. So pretty simple, right? So to add this class job, um, and then you queue the job to execute that basically, first you define the accounts you want to pass into the queue job. So you create um, the circle and put the, the list into this list 
and then the ID, where do you want to parent this account to? Just define and select one account here, which is Acme Corp. And then basically you want to parent all these accounts, which is in New York, to have the parent account of Acme Corp. So you, do, you, you just do the update job, which is update parent account class name, which is this, update parent account, right? And then you define the variable update job and new update parent account, pass the parameter, the accounts list, and the parent ID, and this will execute, and then bada bing, bada boom. Everything will be parented to the Acme Corp. So then you have the job ID if you want to monitor it. That's pretty much it, pretty simple. So testing Cubal Apex, not much difference. First, set up the data, the records you want to pass on, and then you basically do the same thing as the above. You define the accounts, and then you just uh, do the updater here which is basically calling the queueable class, passing the account list and the parent ID. And this has to run between the test start test and test stop test. And then you can do your assert validation there. That's it. So chaining jobs, like I mentioned before, you can define at the end of your first class, first job or phase one or first job and then at the end of first job you can call second job at the end of second job you can call third job fourth job and so on you can do that up to 50 times that's 50 five zero here you can add up to 50 jobs on the queue in a single transaction all right and the execution of queue job counts once against the shared limit of async apex method execution and when chaining jobs you can add only one job from an executing job with system in queue job so you can't do in queue job second job and then third job fourth job in one execution you cannot do that only chain one job at a time that's it. So next is our hands-on challenge when we get practical and code this together. I'll see you in the next video, which is the hands-on challenge. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.